Now let us study the characteristics of gymnosperm. Gymnosperm means naked seeds. That means the seeds does not have a covering. It does not have a fruit. Now this plant are perennial. They are woody and they are evergreen. If you observe the plant, it has a stem which is woody, but it is non-branching. It is something like a crown-like structure. The leaf comes like a crown-like structure. And this plant contains the male part and the female part. That means the male seed as well as the female seeds. Now they are formed by sporophyll. But these seeds are not enclosed inside the fruit. So hence the seeds are naked seeds. So we call this as gymnosperm. Now let us see how do you write this answer. The first point says that gymnosperms are mostly evergreen. They are perennial and they are woody. The second point says that the stem is without branch. The stem is straight without branch. It does not have any branching pattern. The third point says that the leaf forms a crown. If you see at the center, just like a cycus, it forms like a crown. And the fourth point says that the plants bear male and the female flower, and on, but on different sporophylls of the same plant. If you observe the seeds, now how do you pronounce the word sporophyll? That is sporophyll. If you observe the seed of the plants, they are naked, they, that is they are enclosed, they aren't enclosed in the fruit. They are naked, they are visible. So the seeds of the plant do not have a natural covering. That means the plant do not form fruits and are therefore called as gymnosperm. Let us study the examples of gymnosperm. That is, gymno means naked, sperms means seeds. Example is cycus, pisia, Christmas tree, thuja, pinus, deodor, etc.